In this video we're going to be dividing polynomials using the grid method. So we're going to be looking at what multiplies by x plus 1 to give me the answer of x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x minus 5. And that will also tell me what I get when I divide x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x minus 5 by x plus 1. So to do the grid method, we're going to put the x and the plus 1 down the side here. And we're going to be looking for what gives me the answer. So the bit in the middle should be the answer of this. So these terms here will add to give me this uh, function. So the first term is going to be this x cubed function, which is going to go here. Um, these two in these boxes, so I put a red dot on them, they're going to give me the x squared. Um, these two boxes are going to give me the x term. And this one here is going to give me the, uh, the number by itself. So the first one is the x cubed term. Then we get two x squared terms, which add to make this. Two x terms, which add to make this. And then the number by itself, which should give me a negative 5 on the end. And then I'll know I've done it right. So the first term is just x cubed. What multiplies by x to give me x cubed? That is x squared. x times x squared makes x cubed. Now I can fill in this one here now because I know it's 1 times x squared. 1 times x squared is x squared. But you can see I wanted 4. I wanted 4 x squareds. So I've already got one, that means I need three more. So I need three more x squareds. What multiplies by x to give me these three x squareds? That's three x. So now I can fill in this one. Three x times one is three x. But I wanted minus two x. So I'm gonna have to take off five x's to give me in total minus two x. Uh, what multiplies by x to give me minus 5x, that's minus 5. And then this last box here, 1 times minus 5 is minus 5. That is what I wanted, so I've done it right. So the quotient obtained is x squared plus 3x minus 5. Okay, we're going to do the same thing again. So we're going to divide x cubed plus 7x squared minus 36 by x plus 3 by looking at what multiplies by x plus 3 to give me that answer. So I'm going to set up another grid. I'm going to have x and the plus 3 down the side. And I know the first term I'm going to get is my x cubed term, which is just x cubed. So what multiplies by x to give me this? That's x squared. And now I can fill in this one. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. But I wanted 7x squared. So I need another 4x squared. What multiplies by x to give me this? That's 4x. 4x times 3 is 12x. I didn't want any x terms. There's no x here. So in order to get rid of the 12x, I need to take off 12x. What multiplies by x to give me a negative 12x? Negative 12. Negative times a positive is a negative. 12 times 3 is 36. And that is what I wanted on the end. So that means the quotient is x squared plus 4x minus 12. Okay, this question is different. It says factorize fully. So... That means I'm going to need to put it into brackets, but I don't have anything to divide by. So I don't know any of the factors. So in order to find a factor, I'm going to use the factor theorem. So I'm going to look at what I substitute in to this function that gives me an, a zero, which gives me zero. So if I try and substitute in a positive one, that will give me one cubed plus two lots of one squared, minus five ones, minus six. 
which is 1 plus 2 minus 5. Of course, we can use a calculator for this if we wanted to, um, which is minus 8. And this isn't 0, so we'll try something else. So if we try minus 1, minus 1 cubed, plus 2 lots of minus 1 squared, minus 5, minus 1s, minus 6, minus 1, plus 2, plus 5, minus 6, and that is equal to 0. So that means x plus 1, x plus 1 is a factor, which means I can divide by x plus 1. So I'm going to use the grid method um, to find out what's left after I divide by x plus 1. So I'm going to write x, and I'm going to write the 1 down the side. And the first term is x cubed. So I'll put the x cubed in there. And then I'm going to look at what multiplies by x to give me x cubed. And that is x squared. So x squared is my first term here. x squared times 1 is x squared. But I want two x squareds. So I'm going to have to have another x squared here. So it gets me two x squareds x times what makes x squared, that's just x, and 1x is x. So I've got an x here, but I want minus 5x. So that's going to have to be minus 6x here. x times what makes minus 6x, that's minus 6, and 1 minus 6 is minus 6. That's what I wanted on the end. So I've got two brackets now. I've got x plus 1, which is my first factor. And I've got x squared plus x minus 6. I can factorise the second bracket into two more brackets in order to factorise it fully. So what multiplies to make a negative 6 and adds to make a positive 1. So it's 3 times 2 and it's plus 3 and a takeaway 2. So there we are, factorised fully. Okay, the same again. So we're going to factorise fully. First thing we're going to do is we're going to look for a factor. So I'm going to try 1 first. 1 cubed plus 2 lots of 1 squared. Minus 1 minus 2. 1 plus 2 minus 1 minus 2, that is 0, so x minus 1 is a factor. So we know x minus 1 is a factor, so we're going to set up the grid um, with x minus 1 down the side. And we know the first term is x cubed, so this goes in the first box. So what multiplies by x to give me x cubed? That's x squared. So x squared goes up here. And then we've got minus 1 times x squared, which is minus x squared. How many x squared did we want? We wanted 2 x squareds. We've got minus 1. We're going to have to add on 3 more. So it's going to be plus 3 x squareds. I didn't need to write the plus there. Um, you can or you can't. It doesn't matter. So we've got what multiplies by x to give me 3x squared. That's 3x's. And then down the bottom, I've got minus 1 times 3x, which is minus 3x. How many x did I, did I want? I wanted minus 1x. So that means I have to add on 2x's. What multiplies by x to give me 2x's? That's um, 2. And then I've got minus 1 times 2, which is minus 2, and that's what I wanted. So that means I've got x minus 1 times x squared plus 3x plus 2. It's factorised. It's not factorised fully yet, and that's because we need to put the second bracket into two more brackets. So we're going to have to have x minus 1 here. What multiplies to make 2 and adds to make 3? Well, it's 2 and 1. And there we go, it's factorised fully.
Okay, here's two for you to have a go at. So pause the video, give them a go, and then I'll put the answers up after. Okay, so the first step, we're going to have to find a factor. So for the first one, I know one's not going to work, so I'll try a minus one first. Um, in order to think of the numbers that we're going to try, it's useful to look at the, the last number, so the 10, and think about the factors of 10. So the factors of 10 are 1, 2, um, 5, and 10. So they'll be the numbers that we'll, we'll try and substitute in to try and get a zero up. So I'll try uh, the negative one first. Minus one cubed plus eight times minus one squared plus 17 times minus one plus 10. So that's minus one plus eight minus 17 plus 10, which equals zero. So X plus one is a factor. So we can set up the grid to find uh, the other bracket. So we'll have x and plus one down the side. In the first box, we're gonna put x cubed. And then what multiplies by x to give me the x cubed? That's x squared. 1 times x squared is x squared, but I want 8 x squareds. So I've got 1, I want 8, I need 7 more x squareds. What multiplies by x to give me 7 x squared? That's 7 x. 1 times 7 x is 7 x, but I want 17 x's. So I've got 1, I want 17, I need 10 more x's. What multiplies by x to give me 10x? That's 10. And 1 times 10 is 10. That's what I wanted on the end. So that means I've got x plus 1 and x squared plus 7x plus 10. It's factorized, not fully yet. So I'm going to put the second bracket into two more brackets. What multiplies to make 10 adds to make 7? 5 and 2. Okay, same again for the second one. So we're going to have to find a factor first. So if we try, well, one's going to work. So we're going to try one. One cubed minus 13 ones plus 12. That's zero. So x minus one this time is a factor. So again, set up the grid. X minus one down the side. The first box is x cubed. What multiplies by x to give me x cubed? That's x squared. Minus 1 times x squared is minus x squared. I wanted minus, no I didn't, I wanted no x squareds. I want no x squareds, so I'm going to have to have an x squared here. x times x makes x squared. Minus 1 times x is minus x. I wanted minus 13 x's, so I need minus 12 x here to give me minus 13 in total. x times minus 12 is minus 12 x. And minus 12 times minus 1, negative times a negative is a positive, and that gives me the 12 I wanted. So that gives me x minus 1 and x squared plus x minus 12. What multiplies to make a negative 12 and adds to make a positive 1? It's going to be plus 4 and take away 3. And there we go, they're factorised fully.